Hey, it's Megan. Yeah, I know. And that's Easton. Welcome back to our kitchen. Today, we're going to do a recipe that I've had for a while. I'm not sure where I found it, but it's just an old favorite. Um, oatmeal raisin cookies is what we're going to make this evening. Hello. What are you doing there, Easton? Dad. You got the beater? Ellie has a little bit of a cough. All right. So we're gonna add two sticks of butter equals one cup. We've got the two sticks of butter in here. We got it. Let it cream. We're gonna let that kind of cream a little bit. We're gonna add one cup of just white, plain white sugar. Mm -hmm. dry stuff to this bowl. There is two cups of flour in this. Here, watch out. Um, Wait. Okay. So we're going to do one teaspoon of salt. No. Here, Easton, dump it in here. Why are we doing that? So we're just going to dump it in here. We'll do a teaspoon of baking soda. Can I do the baking soda? Oh. Oh. Let's just do it. And then a teaspoon of baking powder. No, no, stick your, no, no, your fingers in there. Mm. Yeah, sugar and butter. Here, dump, you gonna dump this one in? Alright. Mix that up. It makes more flour. So again, this has two cups of flour, a mm. teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a okay. teaspoon of uh, baking powder. Turn this on a little bit. We're gonna dump this in slowly. Just do a little bit by a little bit. Okay, good job. Now you're going to need three cups of oats. We just use organic, old-fashioned oh. oats. One. One. Yay! One. Two. Now at this point, it becomes a lot for the, the mixer. Yeah, you haven't had to. Yeah. It becomes a lot for the mixer. Why are you doing my tattoo? Oh, you want to show them your tattoo? Uh, what is that, Ellie? Unicorn. You got a unicorn? Do you have one over there? Yep. Yeah, you got two unicorns? Yep, two. <laughs> I do love unicorns. You do love unicorns? Dude, what are you doing? You're my favorite tattoo. Okay. All right, so I've got my mixture here. It's just, I have not put in the raisins. So I'm just gonna use organic, regular raisins. It calls for one and a half cups. I'm just gonna throw in one cup and see how the consistency is. Sometimes I don't like it super full of raisins. And if you wanted to, you could probably add nuts or things like that, but in this house, we don't do anything like that. Yeah, because we have food allergies, right? Yep. Well, yeah. It doesn't make it really yummy. Some people do anyway. <laughs> right? So I've got the one cup of raisins in here. I'll just mix this with my hand. I am going to 
go ahead and dump some more in. These are like stuck to the bag tonight. Why do you just use all of it? It's going to be a lot of reasons. I forgot to mention too, while you're making the batter, you might want to go ahead and preheat the oven to 350. Totally forgot to mention that. Yay. I got an idea. I got a bunch of these. Yeah, they're so yummy. I like this one. They're so yummy. You like mm -hmm. them? The kids love these. But I got a bunch of these on sale. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in some craisins oh. along with the raisins. But typically, I would just do raisins mm. and not add the craisins, but I think it might add a little bit of a different flavor. Yeah. Alright, so here is the mixture. Kind of looks like cookie dough. Do you want a bite? Yeah. Mm. Is that good? Mm. Ellie, you think it's good too? <laughs> I've got the oven is preheated to 350. I got a cookie sheet and my cookie scooper and the batter here. And you're gonna bake these anywhere from 11 to 13 minutes. cookies. I'm still working on them, but I'm working on getting the kids to bed as well. Thank you. Say good night. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in and watching our video this evening. As always, take care and God bless. God bless. <laughs>